We've got some Phragmites over here in the marsh. Um, we're going to treat it with our Argo amphibious vehicle that we can use in the, in the water uh, with the trolling motor in the marsh itself with these tracks and also on land. It helps us get a lot closer to the plants and be more effective at treating. Phragmites is one of the more invasive species into marshes and swamps and uh, outcompetes a lot of other native plants. Phragmites is easily identified by the, the large flower head on it, the purple flower head, and it's not a normal species that's found in the marshes. So when people notice it on their property, that's when they call us and realize that they need to do something about this plant before it outcompetes everything they have. That vehicle off affords us the opportunity to get into some pretty crazy, out of the way places to take care of problems for clients in ways that they otherwise would be very limited in their ability to get to and service. We've done a lot of Phragmites treatments for U.S. Fish and Wildlife, the Nature Conservancy, some, uh, some local governments, also private landowners. Our overall lake and ponds management services include algae and aquatic weed and invasive vegetation control. Our overall goal, and I guess you would say maybe our mantra, is that we're looking to manage lakes and ponds by restoring ecological balance, working with nature to manage the pond as opposed to trying to work in a way that you're sort of going against what Mother Nature wants. The best way to manage algae is to reduce the nutrients in the pond, and the best way to reduce nutrients in the pond is to promote the proliferation of beneficial vegetation in the water as well as installing aeration. And by doing that, you don't have to treat algae as much because algae never grows in the first place. We do a lot of biological augmentation, which also helps to reduce the ability for algae to grow because you're removing the food source from the algae.